Hi friends! Today is going to be the 20 questions book tag. I am not 100% sure where this tag originated from. If you know, let me know. But I originally seen this on Bowties and Books, and I will link their video in the description box down below for you to peruse if you so choose. We get to play a game of 20 questions and talk about books. Let's do it. The first question is, how many books is too many books in a series? I think the honest answer to that is it depends on the age bracket, the type of story that's being written, the style, like if it's a series but each book follows a different main character but it's all in the same world. I mean if you've been here before you know that I'm a Cassie Clare stan so obviously I don't have a limit but also if there's not a lot of plot happening then I get kind of bored. Especially if I don't like the characters. So like if I love the characters you can write perpetually forever and I would be fine with that but I have to like love the characters or there has to be like some really good plot happening. I don't have a limit. I don't have a limit. <laughs> the limit does not exist. Two, how do you feel about cliffhangers? Merlin feels very strongly about cliffhangers, clearly. How do I feel about cliffhangers? I hate them, but I love them. Like as a reader, I hate them. I, I don't want to have to wait to get the answer to whatever question was left off but also I kind of love that like I love the suspense and the tension and the oh my gosh I have to have this next book I love like the emotional turmoil that it puts me through also as a writer I love the evilness of it so I'm 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 pro cliffhanger but also I will tell you that I hate you for it but also pro cliffhanger three hardcover or paperback don't really have a preference I read a lot of audiobooks if I'm being completely honest but if I'm sitting down to read it doesn't matter paper book hardcover ebook whatever I don't I'm, I don't have a form that I prefer um, I prefer not having like the super tightly bound books where the words go like all the way into the cracks and you have to like yank the book open like I don't like that but otherwise yeah I'm fairly happy. Favorite book? You see all these tabs? My favorite book probably of all time which this is gonna sound really funny because it's actually only rated a 4.75 out of a possible 5.25 and I have books that are rated 5.25 which means they're basically perfect but my favorite book of all time is A Semi-Definitive List of Worst Nightmares by Crystal Sutherland. This book hit me at the perfect time. I read this right around the time that I really started struggling with my anxiety. Um, I've, I've had anxiety for the a large majority of my life but I started having um, multiple anxiety and panic attacks and this main character has that as well. And so this hit me at like the perfect time. It's also the perfect amount of weird and creepy and whimsical and the romance is super cute. Like this book has everything that Jessica wants or needs. This book is fantastic. So this is my favorite book. Next question is your least favorite book. I have a lot of books that I don't like. If we're talking about like book that I've read all the way through that I haven't enjoyed. Lore comes to mind as I've read it recently this year. Where Dreams Descend by Janelle Angelis comes to mind. Uh, those are books that I've read all the way through and I wouldn't say that I hated them uh, but I didn't enjoy. Um, also what's the other one that I don't want to read the sequel to? Um, Beyond the Ruby Veil. Vale. I have no interest really in reading the sequel to that. Just books that just didn't hit for me. If we're talking books that I have DNF'd look at any classic ever just about any classic ever not all of them but a lot Frankenstein One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest which I may have finished but I don't think I did you know you know what my most hated is probably Romeo and Juliet like I know it's technically a play I hate Romeo and Juliet with the passion 
equal to the fire of a thousand burning suns. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Love triangles. Yes or no. Always yes, but they have to be done right. I will always take a love triangle, but I need it to be done correctly. Do I know what the correct way is? No, it's just an emotional feeling when you're in the moment. <laughs> There's never really like a concrete answer for me. I'm okay with love triangles, but they need to be done properly. Let's say like Tessa, Jem, and Will from the Infernal Devices. Perfect love triangle. Um, if you are a movie watcher, uh, This Means War. Perfect love triangle. I love that love triangle. It is fantastic. Like there's just things that work for me, but also there are really bad love triangles, like the one from The Hunger Games. It's kind of shit, but that's just my opinion. Uh, seven, the most recent book you just couldn't finish. How did I forget about this when I was talking about books I didn't like? I Believe in a Thing Called Love by Maureen Gu. Not for me at all, in any way, shape, or form. Not for me. Um, we actually read this for um, the AuthorTube chat book club. I'll link that in the description box down below uh, where Kate and I talk about the book and how much I greatly disliked it. I mean the parts that I read because I didn't read the whole thing. Eight, a book that you're currently reading. I am currently reading Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Mass. I, I think it's it's book two. I read book one like two or three years ago. It's okay. I'm not loving it yet. I'm only like 15% in. I've been reading it for like two weeks. The last book you recommended to someone. Well earlier today I recommended Bewitch. I know one of the authors is Paige McKenzie. I can't remember the other one right now. Um, the last name is Olin but I can't remember the first name but there's a picture of it somewhere on the screen currently because in the Avengers Initiative Reading Challenge one of our boards is Doctor Strange and if you consider this book a five-star prediction for you it will hit every prompt on the board. So I recommended that to my fellow Doctor Strange enthusiasts. Oldest book you've read by publication date. Pride and Prejudice. A classic that I do actually like. Like the movie more but I also can can get down with the book. Newest book you've read by publication date. Witch Shadow by Susan Dennard. 12. Favorite author. Currently Susan Dennard. Uh, if you have been on the channel before you know of my love for all things Suze, all things Witchlands, and all things Something Strange and Deadly. I have a lot going on. So next week, I think it's next week, what is today? Today that you're seeing this is going to be the 10th. So next week is my witch week. All five videos next week are going to be witch related and I believe Monday's video, if my memory serves me correctly, it's July right now while I'm filming this so my memory could be wrong, but if my memory serves me correctly, the first video next week of Witch Week should be a tour of my Witchlands books. So all of my different editions and all of the things with the things should be next week. So if you want to know more about my Witchlands books, I will probably also show like my tapestry, my book bag that Becca made me, um, my cards, like my little tchotchkes, my tchotchkes, my Witchland tchotchkes, because I got a lot of them. Okay, moving on, Steve. 13, buying books or borrowing books. I love to buy books. I don't know if you noticed. I did a bookshelf tour recently. I'll link that down below. Uh, I have 600 books on my shelves, more than 600 books on my shelves. So clearly, I like to buy books. But recently I have really, because I do a lot of audiobooks, I've been trying to listen to the book, make sure I like it before I purchase a physical copy. Um, that doesn't always happen. Uh, books that I'm super excited about I pre-order. Sometimes I pre-order more than one copy. Uh, you know, because I have problems. Which makes me wonder, is this the, is this the fancy one? No, this is the regular one. I have like witch shadow that's just like regular sign and then I have my fancy one. My, my fancy one where Suze was so polite and and wrote in it for me. My fancy one. Uh, so yes I like to buy books quite a lot. I also might be doing a video on all of my signed editions. 
that may be in the works for August. I'm not sure. But uh, if not in August and you guys are interested, I'll do it in September. But I think it is on the schedule for August, but I don't really know. Because again, it's July. What do I know? Moving on, Steve. I don't know who Steve is, but <sighs> guy's moving a lot today. 14, a book that you dislike that everyone seems to love. I would say in current, in the current climate that we're in, I feel like we're probably going with Robin Hobb books. Robin Hobb, I have a lot of respect for this woman as she is one of the few women to really break down some doors, especially in the 90s of adult high fantasy. She's done some amazing things. Her books, her plot points, her characters, so wonderful. But I cannot read her dry ass books. Like, I'm not a fan of her writing style. It doesn't work for me. I get so bored and I just like zone out. And then 20 minutes later, I'm still staring at the same sentence on the page. And I just, that delivery system doesn't work for me. Now, because I enjoy everything else so much, I understand why people really love it. Um, there's a lot of different um, book clubs doing like read-alongs of the entire, I think it's the elderling world. I could be wrong, but yeah. So uh, Robin Hobb as a whole, not a huge fan of like the books themselves. If someone would like to create them into a TV series, I will be the first motherfucker to sit down to watch it. 15 book marks or dog ears. Always a bookmark. And it doesn't even have to be a bookmark. It could be like a receipt or a piece of paper or another book. I can't. Uh, dog ears make me crazy. I am not Kate Cavanaugh. This is not how I run my life. I don't dog ear books. That's right. I called her out. You know who she is. I called out that dog ear and fool. I can't do it. It's not my thing. Um, I, I have like a bajillion and a half bookmarks. 97% of them probably say Wheatberry books on them, which is my local indie bookstore because I get a bookmark every time I buy a book there and I buy a lot of books there. <laughs> so I have a lot of books that say Wheatberry books on them. Not upset about it, but I got plenty of bookmarks for all the books I'm reading. Uh, 16, a book you can always reread. Uh, there's a lot of those. I will definitely say a uh, semi-definitive list. I have reread this book four times. So I've read it five times. Um, this is a yearly reread for me. Also, her other book, Our Chemical Hearts, is a fairly every year reread for me. Harry Potter. Still a reread for me. Any Cassandra Clare books I can reread and be just as in love, especially uh, Infernal Devices. I recently reread um, had the Hex Hall trilogy and the Hunter trilogy. Loved both of those the second time around. I There's a lot of books that I can reread, but those are definitely some of the ones that I know that if I'm like having a bad day, I can hop into. I've actually kind of where I'm at with Crown of Midnight, I'm kind of like plateauing. And so I'm kind of deciding whether I want to pick up a reread and kind of get my mind off of it or if I want to stick to where I'm at. I don't know. I might pick up a reread soon. I mean I just reread um what did I just reread like last month? A Darker Shade of Magic which I didn't love the first time but I liked the second time. So you know whatever. Anyway tell Steve to keep moving on. Can you read while hearing music? Absolutely. One point of view or multiple point of view? Either or. Depends on the story. Um, sometimes it can be a little too many point of views. Um, one of the books that I finished this week I feel like had too many point of views. I think it could have hit the same message without the eight points of view that it had considering it is a YA contemporary fantasy. But, uh, um, but like would have probably been served better by only like four points of view, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, one or multiple, just it, depending on the day, depending on the subject matter, I, I'm okay with either. Uh, 19, do you read a book in one sitting or over multiple days? It depends on the book. Uh, if you were here last week for the Loki book tag, which I'll link down below, I read the Trill Trilogy in three days. So that's a book a day for three days in a row. Um, I read the entirety. I don't even know why I didn't even think of this when I was doing that book tag. I read the entirety of uh, To All the Boys I Loved Before 
one, two, and three. I read all three of those books in like 36 hours. Like I literally sat down to read the first one at like, I don't know, sometime before bed, read one and two, fell asleep, got a couple hours of sleep, got up, went to work, came back and finished the book at the end of the night. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. The whole thing. And question 20 is who do you tag? And my answer is you. If you're a reader, if you are looking for a fun tag to do, if you're looking to share yourself with other people on the YouTubes some more, I feel like this is a fairly good way to let people know what your reading interests are because clearly we've talked about a lot of those. Let me know in the comments below if you have read any of the books that we talked about and let me know if you're not gonna do the, the, the tag. Let me know what your favorite book of all time is or a book that you can always reread because I would like to reread a book or reread a book or read a book rather that is like an impeccable book. So let me know in the comments below a book you would always reread or your favorite book of all time. Let me know. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!